the Health Watch, according to a new study released today, there's danger for children who play football that could be worse than previously thought. Health reporter Stephanie Stoll has been following the ongoing research and joins us now with a local connection. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Lots been going on with this. You know, brain injuries linked to football, it is a big area of research. The study out today focuses on younger players and an increased risk for emotional and cognitive problems. Owen Brearley, who played football for Penn, committed suicide when he was 21. He was among the youngest and first non-professional player to be diagnosed with CTE, chronic traumatic encephalopathy caused by repetitive brain trauma. It does give a possible contributing factor to what was uh, just like an astounding out of the blue uh, act. Back in 2010, Owen's mom told me even though he started playing football when he was 10, he never had symptoms of a brain injury. I was very surprised and you know, I still feel like I'm in a story that I'm not supposed to be in. A new study published in Annals of Neurology looked at the brains of 246 deceased amateur and professional football players. 211 of them had CTE. The study showed kids who began playing tackle football before the age of 12 began showing cognitive and emotional symptoms associated with CTE an average of 13 years earlier than those who started after 12. I loved my son. He, he, he was just a wonderful kid. Gregory Ransom is heartbroken about the loss of his 13-year-old son James, another young football player. He said, well, I get my bell rung all the time playing football, and it was shocking to me to hear that. James suffered from short-term memory and vision loss and OCD. He eventually took his own life. His family wants to warn others about the potential dangers of football. I want parents to know the science and to know what's happening to their son's brains. Wow. Now, the study also showed that for each year earlier kids begin playing football, they could begin to experience symptoms associated with CTE two and a half years sooner.